Aries, what's up? Let's get to your messages today. Be using the Light Seer's Tarot deck today, man. What up, my favorite tarot deck out at the park? It's been a minute. Let's get into some reads, see what energy is currently surrounding you, what's coming towards you. Okay. See what the tarot has to say. No oracles. Just going off the top, man. The tradition is on fire right now. The shining in my ears, the ringing in my ears. You don't know what that's about. Let's see, Aries, what's grounding you today? You have the Eight of Swords. You are entrenched or locked in deep thought at this time. Or there may be people around you. They may be speaking. Uh, honestly, what I'm hearing is that they're speaking death over you, pretty much. Is what the subject would be, but it's gossip. People could be misinterpreting your messages. People could be misinterpreting your information or whatever the case may be. That's what it feels like here for me. All right, Aries, let's see what else we get. A couple more shuffles. Let's recenter your energy. Okay, we do have the Six of Wands. So, Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, trying to come out of this negative situation. A whole lot of gossip, words being thrown around here. You're the center of, the center of attention with Six of Wands coming up after the Eight of Swords. So again, some type of 15 minutes of fame. This could be some type of content creator that's getting into a mix up with other content creators. I'm aware of so many different stories out there in the collective at this time. Uh, but we want to make this quick. Let's see what other messages I can find for you. There's a resting period here. So there's a resting of your, your thoughts. Maybe you're giving someone the silent treatment after some type of argument. You're regroup. Group, you're, okay, so you're regrouping and ready, waiting to resurface. We got butterflies. Yeah, that's rebirth. That's an evolution. Okay, right. You see him? You see the butterflies? Uh, what are we at? Five of Pentacles. Okay, so money matters or home matters or health matters here. Could be all three. Okay, there's a there's a okay, a slow down period here is what I'm getting. Hmm. Three of Pentacles. People are wanting to work with you. So you have gossipers around you. Okay, this butterflies literally floating around me. <laughs> And I can see the shadows, even if they're not in front of me, I can see the shadows of the butterflies on the grass. So again, someone could be hiding information from you. Someone could be hiding finances from you. Could even be hiding an opportunity from you or trying to outwork you or take some type of promotion from you if you're working at some type of institution. Uh, again, this could be this could be some type of content creator. I mean, we, re we live in a world in 2022 of content creation at this time. Of course, if you can't create your own job, then you know the situation that you're placed in with what we have here. Death and rebirth, scorpionic energy, which symbolizes investigation, symbolizes poisons and elixirs. Deep uh, emotional debt, although Scorpios tend to hide uh, their emotions, this is magic here. So again, if you can't create your own job here and work with the collective here, three of pentacles you'll end up taking the juice the jab the vaccines at this point so that's what i'm getting for you next message the hierophant okay so there's an anointing here some type of spiritual leader or you take your spiritual system or your spiritual values very seriously here you're not uh engrossed in this uh death and rebirth energy you're refusing this uh this energy here there's an attempt to ignore this situation here. Four of Swords with Five of Pentacles. Trying to ignore this situation here. Maybe trying to level up or better yourself physically. You're working on your physical health or maybe you're, maybe you're working on your body as well. We all know that the best ways to keep yourself healthy is to eat healthy and to work out and exercise. Have some... Uh, discipline about yourself. This is Taurus energy. So both major arcana showing up, death and rebirth, Scorpio, and then you have the Hierophant, which is Taurus. Hmm. 
I'm going to pull a few more cars for you here. I do see this victorious moment coming up for you here. It takes, again, discipline. It takes know-how, which is Scorpio energy, which is why we see death and rebirth. There's a death, there's a rebirthing period coming towards you, a change or an evolution coming towards you. It requires great self-development is what I'm getting here with the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. May even cost you a pretty penny, maybe like a gym membership or something like that. Or you could be getting out at the park on the track or going to some type of uh, discipline with the Hierophant. Could be seeking out some type of um, someone to help you work on yourself as well. Maybe an accountability partner is what I'm getting in. We have three of Pentacles here. So you're working on a business, you're working on bettering yourself, you're working on your health as well. Uh, and these things are pretty common. You know, people talk about simple things like raising your children or getting good grades in school. I mean, these are normal things that people should be doing. You shouldn't be expecting a trophy, a six of wands for these things. This is a natural progression into adulthood or to a spotlight or to celebrity. You don't get there uh, with just a one, two step. There's a 10 step process here. Your other message is you have eight of cups. Yeah. So you're avoiding emotional triggers at this time, walking away from uh, unvaluable lessons. Not every lesson is valuable. Not every situation that you go through, uh, you could have actually avoided it is what I'm getting. Yep. Eight of Wands could have been some type of sexual relationship or sexual encounter. Could be a lot of creativity or someone's uh, traveling towards you. Someone that maybe turned their back on you is now returning to you. They're researching you and they're investigating you as well. They're spying. They're spying on you and they're learning something new about you. You've transformed yourself into some, or you're taking your spirituality more serious. You're being more disciplined about, again, it could be your health, your monies, or your spiritual system. Also getting Nine of Pentacles, yeah. They see you as a very stable individual, very financially stable and well off. They could have underestimated you at some point as well. It's one of those people that stare at you from the distance and they assume things about you rather than actually coming towards you and asking you questions or figuring out how you did something or where you stand on the situation. Then we have Wheel of Fortune. So we have another major arcana coming up for you here, which would be uh, good luck. This is fortune turning into your favor. So you're going to need a good captain or a good co-captain here is what I'm uh, channeling. That's weird. But yeah, uh, you could be dealing uh, with a gambler as well. This person could have a lot of um, bad karma around them. Karma would be the wheel of fortune. That would be luck. So that's what I'm getting here. We have a gambler or some type of financial investor. I just recently learned about uh, loan sharks and payday advances. You definitely want to avoid those as well. Again, eight of eight of uh, cups. Could You could be emotionally driven or someone could be emotionally driven. Definitely want some type of sexual encounter here. Or they're trying to come towards you with some type of artistic endeavor. But that's what I have for you here today, Aries. Make sure you like and share and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.